So my name is Steve Lane. I'm the uh, the director of the computer graphics and game technology master's program here at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm also a professor of practice in the computer science department. CGGT program is an interdisciplinary program um, that is intended to combine art and engineering. Um, it's uh, it's a program where students learn um, how to bridge uh, technology uh, into the creative uh, area. So students typically work as technical directors or, or game developers. I had a, a game company um, called Catrix, and back in uh, the 90s, we developed a number of uh, projects for different game companies and uh, a big company like Disney um, and so I was used to hiring a lot of different uh, types of people, programmers and animators and artists and uh, when I came here to Penn in 2001 I was uh, thinking about um, the program here. There was no uh, CGGT master's program at the time and I was thinking about um, what a uh, curriculum might look like to prepare uh, or, or create my ideal employee in terms of skill sets. So when I sat down and I put together the program, I thought that it would be good to have a combination of technical courses like the computer animation and the computer graphics course. At the time, this was 2004, when I, I was looking at various names, um, I knew that I wanted to work uh, games into the title, but the, when I basically presented it to the, to the faculty and the administration, they at that time didn't think that uh, games was a legitimate field of study, so they didn't want games in the title, um, but we kind of persevered and um, uh, eventually convinced them that, that games was a, an art form and a legitimate uh, area and so we ended up with the, the title uh, computer graphics and game technology so that that was an early challenge current challenges are trying to keep the program current in terms of what students need to know in order to work effectively in industry so that has to do with talking to former students and talking to, to people who are at these companies and making sure we're up to speed on the latest technology and, and what um, uh, they would like to see in their future employees in terms of skill sets. So at this point in time anyway, there's a lot of interest in virtual reality and augmented reality. And so uh, I've been experimenting in, in the game design practicum course in terms of using those different types of uh, systems to create new user experiences. So, so uh, last spring, the, the game course uh, had a project that used uh, uh, mobile devices and created an augmented reality, augmented reality experience. And in the current, uh, I guess, uh, version of the course in this spring, it'll be a, a, a virtual reality course that uses Oculus Rift um, head-mounted displays to create a, a multi-person uh, group experience. So it's a very exciting area. You know, every time I go to the movies, I'm always amazed at um, you know what people are able to do with the graphics and animation technology. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it's all based on math and science. And so um, what you have to do is persevere. You, you know, in the beginning, it seems overwhelming. But after a certain amount of time, hopefully um, the, the, uh, the concepts become clear and, and you see how, how people have been able to apply them to create either uh, AIs and games or, or all the, you know, crazy things that you see on the screen in terms of uh, characters or, or just physical effects. So it's, I guess the, the main message is um, pay attention in the introductory courses because you're going to need to understand that in order to apply it later on.